What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 23rd tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be building a simple program and I'm going to be using the for loop and I'm just going to be using it to show you guys that it is actually useful outside of just showing you guys examples. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to say we're going to start with $10,000 and we're going to invest in the stock market and we're smart enough to earn 1% each day on our money. So at the end of 20 or 30 days, how much money did we make? So, you know, it's a little funner program than what we've been programming before. It's a little cooler, a little break from just basic examples. So before I get started, I want to mention this. In our formula for calculating interest rate, we need to use a function called power, and that's included in the CMath library. So make sure you include this before you get started in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get down to it. Now we're going to be calculating interest rates and stuff like that. So we're going to be needing to work with decimal points like 0 0.01, 0 0.02 for 2%. But we already know int. So can we use integers when working with decimal points like this? No, we can't. Int is for whole numbers only like 98, 4, 54. It is for whole numbers without a decimal place. So in order to use a decimal place, we need to have a new type of variable, and that's called float. Float is basically the data type that allows you to work with decimal places. There are a couple different ones, but this is one of them, one of the most popular ones. So let's go ahead and make a variable called A, and this is going to be the amount we're trying to figure out. How much money did we make? The next uh, variable we need is called principal. So float P equals your principal amount in in everyday terms how much money did you invest how much money did you start with well say we just had ten thousand dollars laying around so let's go ahead and start with that um, I wish I had ten thousand dollars around but hey we can dream can't we so now let's go ahead and say this our last variable is rate so I'm gonna set it equal to R and that's how much interest do you want to earn each day and let's say we can earn 1% each day and that's 0.01 if you had 2% it would be 0.02 make sure not to put 2 or 1 for this you need 0.01 and or else it's not going to work so let's go ahead and use the for loop to run through each day so what this is going to be doing is looping through each day one by one one two three four five six seven days and each day is going to give us a dollar amount how much money did we earn that day at one percent so of course the for loop is going to loop through days let's go ahead and make a variable called day int day and we'll start at day one obviously and the next parameter it needs is how long do you want to invest your money for so let's say um, 20 days so day is less than or equal to 20 days and of course day plus plus because one day at a time we're not skipping any days and we're not taking any vacation time here so now the formula for interest rate is this the amount of money that you earned is equal to the principal amount times and in parentheses put this actually no not yet the principal amount times the power and this is where you put parentheses one plus the rate and this is would be let me go ahead and type this out. I can't talk and tell you guys financial formulas at the same time. The formula for calculating interest rate is this. The amount of money you're going to make is equal to your principal investment times 1 plus rate, and the rate would be 0 .01 in this case, to the day exponent. So it would be like 1%, um, 1.01% to the 20th power. So I mean, it's a weird formula, but that's how you calculate it. Just trust me, it works. So anyways, now what we have to do is just print out on the screen how much money we're going to make. So let's give it a nice little print thing. Um, let's go ahead and print the day first. And then just want to give it a nice little spacer here. There we go. And then we go ahead and write A. A is the amount of money that we're making and then go ahead and we'll print this on a new line each time so let's go ahead and run it and you'll see what I'm talking about whenever I run it so here is the day to the left 1 through 20 we start off and at the end of the first day if we invest ten thousand dollars at one percent we earn a hundred dollars at the end of that first day at the end of the ninth day we almost earned eleven thousand dollars if we invested ten thousand dollars and we earned 1% each day for 20 days, 
at the end of your 20th day, you would earn over $12,000. Well, you would actually earn $2,000, but calculating the money you already had in there, you would have over $12,000. That's pretty sweet, huh? So now you know why everyone wants to get in uh, stock trading because basically by just sitting at your computer and clicking buttons, making trades, you can earn $2,000 in 20 days pretty sweet huh so since you know this is fake money and we're just dreaming let's say that we could we were a genius like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates and we were smart enough to earn three percent each day and let's say we invested this for 30 days so go ahead and let me run this whole oh, mama check this out if you invest in money for 30 days and you earn just three percent on your money each day at the end of 30 days or one month you would over double your money you would have twenty four thousand dollars and more and enough to go out to Taco Bell so that is pretty sweet and uh, this makes me second guess my career as a computer programmer and kinda makes me want to get in the stock market but by the way before you guys get into the stock market earning three percent a year would be good nowadays uh, earning three percent a day is virtually impossible unless you're like Warren Buffett so anyways there is your tutorial on a useful way to use the for loop in program and also you know some financial advice to the formula for APR so there you go and uh, I hope you guys learned at least something from this tutorial and hopefully I didn't get you addicted to the stock market because hey we got more C++ to learn guys so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later